pots of iron, I say. That's right. We're not done. We're in a mad dash to get as much hearts of iron as humanly possible. That's correct, sir. And in the meantime, we're going to send men to their deaths against the Spaniards. That's right. Seriously, though, we are going to proceed to fight the uh, uh, Republican Spanish as uh, deftly as humanly possible. Because, you know, they're, they're doing a pretty good job of uh, pushing back our nationalist allies. Something we absolutely cannot allow to happen. So we're going to beat some tail, man. Just dominate. Just completely dominate. We're actually going to get army primacy as well. Yeah, that's right. We're going to need those military factories. If we're going to want to stay ahead of the curve. That's the way I'm looking at it. I also want to build more civilian factories. I've decided we do not have enough. We need more. More civilian factories for the front line. Actually, basically, we have three civilian factories and then we can build more military factories. Looks good to me. The problem with Italy, though, is Italy does not have that epic resource production that you might get with, say, oh, I don't know, the Soviet Union or the United States. But that's okay. We're going to make do. We are going to make as much do as humanly possible. Albania yields. The Albanian authorities have agreed to our demands and King Zog has been forced to abdicate. From now until the end of time, Albania shall be Italian. That's right, baby. <laughs> They, they realized, you're like, you know what, look, we could fight this, but we're not going to. We just, just give it to them, man. Just let them have it, and everybody's going to be a bit happier now. All right. Keep these dudes to stand here. Get those dudes to attack from the side. Crush all resistance. Zog submits. Of course. Of course they do. That's a smart maneuver there, Mr. Zog. Mr. King Zog. That's an interesting name. It's almost a comical name. King Zog. Like, it doesn't even sound like a real name. Zog. Anyway, focus on the war. Move forth, men, into the fray. Let blood be dealt, spilt, and f like flown all over the place like a painting or something. That's right. Bringing new meaning to a Picasso painting with blood. The blood of our enemies. Yes, this is this. Someone's asking in the background, like, oh, has he been worshipping corn lately? Eh, maybe just a little bit. That's not important to what I'm actually doing here. Alright, there we go. Attack from the rear. Ooh, yeah. Open the second front. That's exactly what we need to do. Show them the wrath of Italia. This is not going as well as I hoped. Not, well as, uh, not, not that well at all, actually. It's, uh, we're getting bogged down. Okay, you know what? We don't need any bogged down conflicts. Let's readjust where we're attacking from. Get these fellows here to attack from the rear. Yes, do a little bit of damage. If you could, thank you, sir. Yes, we're going to clear up. And hopefully we're going to try to make it where our troops don't get surrounded again. We're going to take these guys, attack here, attack here. Now we have superior organization and equipment. So it seems like we can pretty much take them on in a division by division basis. So, realistically speaking, as long as we don't hit any real strong river crossings or anything like that, we have a pretty good chance of doing successfully against our opponents. So that, my friends, is what we're going to do. Alright, state two. Alright, concentrated industry. Eh, do we want to do that? Do we want to do dispersed industry? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. We're going to do concentrated. I want to try to keep up with the greater powers in the world. Let's look at our casualties so far. In the Italian-Spanish War, looks like we've only lost 272 men. Whereas the Republican-Spanish have lost over 6,000 men. Now the real question is, should we bring more reinforcements? And my answer is obviously. The more Italians we have on this uh, country's soil, the faster we will successfully beat the crap out of them with our superior technology and tactics. That's right. Realistically speaking, we've kind of left a hole right there for them to just walk right on through. Hopefully they decide it's not in their best interest to do that. There we go. So we cleared that back up. Good job, men. Good job. Reinforcements move up. We're going to crush this division here. We're probably taking some... Yeah, we're starting to take much more casualties now that we're doing a little bit riskier maneuvers. 
Now this red is indicating that we're losing the battle, but I have faith in us that we will win it. Sometimes faith is all you need. Now I should be supporting us with additional airplanes. Let's see, what do we got over here? Click on the Iberian region. Uh, see, we're just, we're just too far away. We don't have any air bases nearby to really, really help us out there. But look, we have plenty of airplanes ready for delicious succulent warfare when they uh, get the chance. But right now might not be the opportunity for them. Whatever. No big deal. No big deal. We'll do this without air support. The Italian military of the Novus Imperium Romanum cares not. That's right. Ooh, construction. Good. We're building factories faster. Alright, let's look at our infantry. Are we up to date on our shots? No, we are not. Give me more shots. Ooh, free dockyards. What do we want, though? Which, uh, what should we be building? Convoys, probably. No, we got plenty of those. Um... I'm just gonna put it into building battleships then. Build all the battleships, boys. Build whatever you can. Good job there. Get that completed and out of the way. Italia could always use more boats. More boats for conquest. Alright, we're gonna move these dudes over here to try to conquer Bilbao. And move these dudes in. Support our allies' attack. Did we lose a division already up here? No, we didn't. They're just hiding. There we go. Come out into the limelight, you sexy bastards. Show them the might of uh, Italia. I keep forgetting my name for some reason. You can, you can tell I'm like all here, man. Just completely all here. Prepared defense. All right. Modify government. What should we modify this time? Prince of Terror, communist revolutionary, fascist demagogue, compassionate gentleman, smooth talking charmer. Armaments organizer, quartermaster general. Uh, me, me, me. We'll go with this one. Seems like pretty solid. I'm very focused on construction and making sure things get constructed the way I want them to be. What's our political? 1.5 a day. Let's start putting some uh, boost, some uh, party fascism, in uh, the good old U.S. of A. over there. Because I somehow feel like if we don't start doing something with them now, we are going to severely regret it later. Inefficient resources. What are we lacking? Chromium and steel. It's pretty bad. I'm pretty bad on that. But you know what? It's mostly focused on these boats, which I don't give two shits and a piss about. All I'm concerned about are my tanks and uh, my infantry equipment. As long as my armies themselves are being sufficiently fueled in their... Uh, conquests, then I am very much happy. Let's see if we can't pull this off. We might be able to. No, they're not going to let us do that. That's alright, we'll attack like that. Yep, cut a bunch of holes. Whose airplanes are these? Actually, I really can't see them. I can't tell. Mm, mm, mm. Whatever. Not important. I think the Republican Spanish have air superiority. Why, yes, they do. Oh, look, he's not a bad general himself. Look at him. He's even got some traits. He's a five. Oh, my. Make my life a little difficult, will you? I don't really care. My forces are fine. We got this on lock. We are closing in on Madrid, and it would probably be a good idea to split our stuff up rather than, uh, you know, just kind of blobbing up and moving along. So, But what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably about to set a battle plan uh, and seeing how that goes, but I don't know yet. Probably, probably. I think we need more troops to start off. Let's see, how many more troops do we have that are easily reachable? Here we go, here's some dudes. Ready for combat and battle! Yeah, so that's quite a, that's 11 more divisions to be sent to Spain. Now, at this rate, we're taking Spain quick enough, but I want to take it faster, much, much faster. I don't have time for dilly-dallying, men. War is my prerogative. Actually, we gotta go back over there. They're gonna, yeah, they're gonna take that territory, so we might as well go ahead and move back towards it. And then once, once our reinforcements get here, we'll actually combine them all into one nice, sexy army. And then set actual front lines and uh, objectives. Our objectives are pretty simply just gonna be, you know, take all of Spain, as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't have to be anything too special. Oh, we gotta recover. Those enemy forces actually managed to hold out Bilbao. No bueno, sir. No bueno at all. That's okay. That's okay. Ooh, recon company. Good. Give us that initiative bonus. 
uh, when we add it on to our men. What else do we need to do? Well, we should probably do some of this stuff. I should probably get support weapons too. It's kind of an important one to get this early on. There we go. Army Primacy. Three more military factories for us. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Uh, what should we do in tours? Light tanks, of course. Do a heavy tank, of course. We should probably get some chromium. Uh, motorized brigades. Army primacy. Yes, yes, yes. Modernized artillery. Maybe. No, I think we should befriend. Well, no, no, we can't do that. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, we befriended them. We can totally do that. So we'll befriend Bulgaria and get on good terms with Bulgaria. We'll trade out some more for chromium. Nope, not that much. Just one. I don't want to completely meet demand. I just want to meet enough for the tanks, not for the boats. Again, I'm not all big on that. I need to keep that construction queue just a rolling on. That's kind of why I'm not focusing too much, uh, because then it would just be obscene. No, another thing we need to do is we're at partial, partial mobilization. What we need to do is war economy. That's exactly where we need to get, because then it's only 15% military good uh, factories, but then everything's cheaper to convert and construction costs are much faster. Basically, when you're a fascist country, there's no point to have a civilian economy in this game. Like, point blank, there's no point. You can do better, you must do better. Um, let's see, what else do we want to do? Uh, Division Day Fantedia. I forgot, what did we do with that? Yeah, this one's this one here is the Assault Division. We've added some heavy tanks and some light tanks. But I'm not seeing a lot of artillery. Let's add more artillery, make that soft attack even sexier. Uh, let's add in some additional light tanks and a recon. Boom, so now our assault divisions are just plain nasty. And we're going to have a bunch of those. We're going to have a bunch of Romanum infantry divisions as well and division Defenteria. We're going to have lots of this stuff. Just plenty of dudes just ready to combat in every which way possible. So basically our goal is to build up a huge army and do work with it. All right, with that, let's go ahead and combine all of our forces together into one super army under Pietro Badiglio. Badiglio. And uh, obviously the front line is going to be here. Now, our offensive line, what we want to capture uh, is I think we kind of just want to move out. You know what? No, this is what we want to do. We want to literally bring all of our forces, swoop them around like that. And bring him down. And I'm pretty sure once our troops move and get into position, they're going to do more than that for us. Let's see. Wow, they moved pretty quickly. Got right into position. Those tanks did anyway. Good Christ. All right. So, it looks like we have an estimated 10% plan value, which needs to get better. Uh, we're going to let our dudes get into position. And then we're going to try to shoot for it. The division can still prepare. I don't care too much about that. That's not too much of a big deal as far as I'm concerned. Stop attacking Bilbao. All right. Now, nope, they're still getting into position. Take your time, apparently. I'm not in a rush. You know, just trying to take over the world and all that good stuff. Let's boost relations. No, we don't need to. We've got that national focus. If we make it our focus, we'll be good. Okay, apparently some of the divisions are still getting into position. You know what? Let's take this. This should not exist. This needs to be Spanish and Italian owned, or nationalist owned, not Republican Spanish. They have no need for it. There we go. Looks much better. All right, and our troops are now in position, and boom. We have initiated the plan. Our troops are moving forward, and hopefully we kick ass. It looks like we're doing pretty good. I see a lot more green than I see red, so that, that's a good thing. Dang, our forces are already moving south. They are just moving right along. I hope they don't open up any pockets. That could be an issue. We have 11 more divisions hanging out uh, back at the base. If we want to bring in any additional reinforcements from Venice, which, you know what, we can. There's really no reason not to bring in everything we got to end this war quicker, uh, you know, rather than waste time sitting here playing with our uh, Piccadillies, as it were. Move on over there, men. Get a rolling onto the next battlefield. Show them the might of the new Roman Empire. That's right. Okay, well, these dudes are moving. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right, moving on to the front line. Oviedo. There we go. That's a good, good target. 
Are they moving there? No, they're not. Whatever, Karuna. One of these places is where you need to go. Okay. Oh, am I not? Whoops, I'm not actually in a port. Look at me, just not paying attention, not paying attention. Kind of makes you wonder how I get out of bed every morning, right? Jeez Louise. Anyway, we got lots of a big fleet. That is one thing I do like is Italy. You have a pretty decent sized fleet. Uh, you can compete with the Allies on that regard. As long as you keep your Air Force pretty powerful as well. A very high priority on fighters, for example. Uh, you stand to be pretty effective against the Allies. But again, if you don't do that, you might have a bad time. So let's actually see. Did I ever research Fighter 1? I did not. So, yes I did. Here it is. C-200 Sieta. Sieta. So we're going to have, definitely have to get to those. Um, I want to make another adjustment to, I guess, this one here. No, do we need to? No, I don't think we do. I want to make an adjustment to these guys here. What we're going to be doing is turning this into a fully motorized brigade. And over time, as we get mechanized infantry and so on, we're actually going to start making them mechanized and so on and so forth. So yes, that's going to be pretty good. All right, that looks good. I like it. I dig it. Uh, we're going to give it some recon support. Um, might as well give it some support anti-air since we don't really have a lot of that. And why not go for the engineering company as well? It never hurts to have those. So boom, here we go. We got a nice, sexy... Do we really need cavalry? Do we? I don't think we do. I think we just stick with a motorized infantry. Say boom. So now we can actually start building us some motorized divisions as well. That might be a lot more than we can realistically field, but I don't really care. We kind of just need to have lots of lots of divisions building and ready to go uh, as soon as the war comes on. Because like I'm telling you, the United States and the Allies are going to have some serious firepower uh, and probably by about 1943. So it's important that we start making major moves now while we still can. That's right. Well, it looks like we're winning the war pretty much. We've pushed back the Republican Spanish. Uh, we've retaken, you know, most of the, like, almost half of Spain at this point. Roughly. I mean, a third, actually, is probably a more realistic estimate. We've taken back a third. I think we're doing a pretty good job. As long as we continue down this path of world domination, send volunteers. Absolutely, Germany, you can send us some reinforcements. I will accept that. Every little bit helps, after all. Every little bit helps. We need more steel. Um, thankfully, it's still not affecting our main groups or anything. It's just affecting the boats. Oh, no, no. It's affecting the anti-air, which we need to put above the boats. Because it is more important to have anti-air than boats. Befriend Bulgaria. Good job, men. We have befriended them. So, that's that's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, let's press play. Let's see what Bulgaria is going to do about that. Are they going to do anything about that? No, they're just going to let that happen. Okay, cool. But we can create a faction uh, because they are indeed not aligned. And they will probably join our faction, so that would be pretty cool. Uh, we got to get the national spirit to create a faction first, though. So, non-aggression pack from Bulgaria. Absolutely, Bulgaria. You are just the most delightful little person. So, if we do Italy first, essentially, that will allow us to make our own faction which will be the Novus Imperium Romanum that's right so that's what we're gonna do and that's where we're gonna end this episode thanks for watching guys I hope you're enjoying this and hopefully by next time we will have finally finished the Spanish Civil War anyway this has been CB thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time